Let's come into our mountain pose for our warm ups. Spread your toes out. And ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, shoulders back and down, and crown toward the ceiling. Activate your core, get your spine supported. Relax. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale tension. And just focus inward on your yoga perspective. Inhale, arms at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Lift your heart, press your hands down, drop those shoulders back, and pivot at your hips, come on over. Let the back begin stretching, and the hands move toward your head. Move your chin around, release your neck, and stress there. And then bend your knees slightly, and work your way back all the way to the top, and lift your heart. Again, shoulders down, chest high, stretching your head away, spreading your toes out, and lengthening your whole body. Inhale upright, exhale into mountain pose. Feel your spine a little bit more activated, and we'll do it again. Arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So lift your heart again, stretch into the back bend, and then exhale over. Just deepen as much as you'd like, spread those toes around, lift the sitting bones, get the legs stretching along with the back. And again, on an inhalation, knees slightly bent, chin just a little in, work your way up, and lift your heart, not your chin, and stretch your head away. Take a moment there in the back bend, feeling that openness across your chest. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling that energy moving through. Side stretch, bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead. Go ahead, pass them in class. Bring your arms next to your ears, straighten your elbows a little bit, and sitting on the stand. And then keep the shoulders facing the front as you lean to the side. So no twist on this one, just ribs opening, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down. Stretch it out, breathe into it, feel the ribs. Inhale, upright, keep those shoulders down as so you switch the other hand to the front. And again, bring your arms next to your ears, spread your toes, and lean to the opposite side. Stretch it out, breathing, don't lean forward, just straight to the side. Open the ribs, push the foot one way, and the hands opposite. And then inhale to the top, exhale the arms out, and down. And again, take a moment feeling the knees stretch along the sides as we get ready to stretch the spine for our twist. So bring your arms again to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, stretch the spine and twist. Take a breath in to one side and exhale it over. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Lift the sitting bones. Keep your arms next to your ears. And don't forget to breathe. And then slowly on an inhalation, work your way up in the twist into the upper body only back bend. So just heart high, elbows back, shoulders down. Take a moment, breathe. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around. And again, by your ears. Stretch the spine and twist to the other side. Another breath in and turn it on over. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones. Keep the weight on both feet. And don't forget to relax. And then inhale, coming all the way back up. Chest high, shoulders down. And 
So we're going to go over the key a little bit after the which was just a gentle twist. Back down. Inhale, upright. Exhale, around right to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up, extended neck. And then swan dive forward, just pivot, stretch it out, and drop into that abdomen. Take a moment there, breathing. Let the tension out. Deepen a little bit with the hands behind the legs if you'd like. Pulling that back a little bit more stretch. And then arms to the front, chin slightly in, knees slightly bent as you wind one more time, back into mountain pose. Take a moment there and feel your body a little more stimulated. And take a moment to go turn your feet to the sides, bend your knees, hands above your knees. And we'll do another twist. So stretch your spine apart, get it nice and long and straight. And then exhale, turning to the side, bring your shoulder down towards your knee as you slightly lift your hip and your whole body turns toward the side. Keep the knees slightly bent. Don't put a lot of pressure in your hands. Just allow your spine to twist, your body to stretch. Take a breath, lengthening, sitting bones and crown away from each other. Exhale, turn back to the center. Stretch it out long again, getting ready to twist to the other side. And exhale, bringing the shoulder down, the hips slightly up. Stack those shoulders as you turn completely toward the side as much as you can. Take a breath. Close your eyes. Let the twist happen. And again, exhale back to the center. Tuck in your chin and round your back. And once more from the bottom of the spine, line all the way back up, turning your feet forward, coming back into mountain pose. Take a moment there and breathe. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees slightly, not beyond your toes, and put your hands again positioned, but not pressing into your knees. And then circle your knees around. Don't go beyond your toes, just gentle circles. Getting the knees and the toes and the feet and the ankles working. And then stop and go the other way. So big circles, but not going beyond your toes. Just circling around. And then coming back to the center. Find your spot out in front and lift the heels, coming onto the balls of your feet for a little balance. So a two-footed balance. Just see how you're doing. Keep stretching your spine. Keep the shoulders relaxing. No pressure in your knees. And breathe. And then roll back and forth on your feet. Keep those ankles and arches and toes working. And then coming back up, feet hip width apart. Clasp your hands behind your low back or bring your fingertips up between your shoulder blades, reverse prayer position, and bend your knees again. We'll circle the hips, just big circles around. Allowing the hips, legs, ankles, and feet to get a little more in motion. And then after a few circles in one direction, stop and go the other way. And of course, just breathe into it, relaxing through the hips, through the legs, and then releasing, come back upright into mountain pose. Pick your balance foot, spread the toes out, make sure your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder line up, make sure that those toes and knees go the same direction. Core activated, ribs toward your spine and up. Make sure you're supporting your spine as we do this and keep the shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling. When you're ready on that foot, round it and really bring the other foot up. You go a little or more or pull it up towards your chest. Keep the foot not crossed over, so make sure you're not turning it over. And then circle your ankle when you're stable. Going both ways. 
making sure that we are working our ankles. And again, flex some point and straighten it out before you put the foot back down. Spread those toes. Make sure that leg is aligned because, of course, we're going to balance and do the other foot. Sink into that foot. Lift up through the crown. Activate the core. Make sure it's still working for you. And bring the other foot up. And again, you can keep it low or sort of up or all the way towards your chest. And again, when it's where you want it to be, work your ankle. Breathe into it. Make sure you're checking your vowels. And again, flex some point before you put your foot down. Take a moment and breathe. And bring your arms out shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Take a moment there, shoulder, shoulder blades, sitting bones down, core still activated. And we're gonna push the sitting bones back, bend the knees, not beyond the toes, and squat down only as deeply as your knees want. So a little chair squat, spread your toes, get the weight into both feet evenly, stretch out through the fingertips and crown, and a moment and push those sitting bones maybe a little further toward the back. And exhale any tension. And then lead with your fingertips and come on back. Palms out, exhaling into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. And let's do one more balance. So balance with centered and grounded. Toes spreading, remember, don't work with the toes. Keep the core active. Stretch up through the crown. Sink so into the balance foot, bend your knees slightly, and bring your opposite foot up across toward the knee. Push the knee down and back a little bit, and just sink those hips slightly back. Take a moment, breathing in this figure four balance. Exhale any tension. And when you're ready to release, straighten that leg out and release. Place the foot back down. Exhale tension as you get rounded again. And switch to the other side. So remember, you can always hold the balances longer on your own. But we need just a sample while we're doing class. So go ahead, sink into that foot. Keep the core active. Everything aligned just like before. Bend your knees slightly. And again, bring the ankle up and across. And on the knee just to keep it back and down. Exhale, sitting bones slightly behind you, balancing on that foot, keeping those toes spread and the crown stretching away from the sitting bones. And then bringing the foot back out and down as you straighten the knees out. Back in mountain pose, exhale all that balance stress. Hands to your heart, looking at your fingers. Inhale, bring them toward the ceiling. Bring the hands behind you, lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs, back bend. Swan dive forward. So bring the arms up to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, halfway down, stretch it all out, everything straight, and then drop into ragdoll. Hold your toes with your index and middle finger, thumb on the outside, and then straighten your knees and your spine as much as you can for our gorilla pose. If that's easy for you, lift your toes, put your fingertips under, backs of the fingers on the floor, and stretch up again. Elbows straight, knees straight, spine straight as much as you can. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then release your feet, hands in ragdoll, chin slightly in, and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way back up, and again into the mountain toes. As you get back up, take a moment and stretch your spine, and we'll just do a gentle vignette twist. 
So turning side to side, look toward the side, following your hands. Keep the crown reaching up, sitting bones down, spine nice and focused so it can move around. And just go a little deeper, maybe each end of that circuit as you twist. Take a breath or two, just relaxing. And then turn back to the center. Bring your hands again to your heart. Look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. Another little back bend. Exhale, hands down to your heart and pivoting over into your dog. Take a moment there, breathing, deepening into that stretch. And then slide your hands up under your knees and elbows, knees, and spine is straight, including your neck. Stretch it all out. And your knees will transition down to child pose, coming to the mat. Hips on your heels or back that way. Hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe, letting your spine give a nice stretch. Exhale, tension. And then inhale, sit up and come into your staff position. So bring your legs out in front, sitting on slightly behind you. And oh, let's do our diving dolphin. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh, sitting bones are slightly behind you, everything stacked, keep that core active, knee out to the side as much as you like. And then bring the other knee to the front with the heel coming back near your back heel on that side. Stretch up, keep the spine open because this is another twist. And exhale, turn your whole body to look toward that first knee in the bend. Ribs in. Tuck the chin slightly, exhale and dive under the water, you're the dolphin. Rotate your face to the front, crown up, don't clench the neck. Keep stretching as you come all the way up on in breath. And again, rounding your back, feeling that whole spine going into a little forward bend on the exhalation down. And a little back bend as you lift your heart toward the ceiling coming up. Keep stretching your neck both directions, breathing with it, exhaling under the water and inhaling it all the way up. And then the next time you're at the top, pause. And exhale back to your center, releasing your legs, coming back into staff position. Sitting bones behind you. Crown high, keep that spine stretching apart or active. And bring the left foot to your right thigh or whatever's opposite what you do. And bring the knee, heel back on the other side near your hip, not under it. Knee toward the front. Stretch up and twist as you exhale toward that left front leg. Ribs in, chin slightly tucked, forehead down, exhaling. Toward the knee, face to the front, crown to the ceiling, coming back up, lifting your heart, a little back bend on the inhalation. And again, just dive your dolphin a few times, going the other direction, balancing your body, breathing with it, just getting that full spine working along with your breath. And then as you exhale down, just stretch it out, lift your heart and the head. And at the top, pause, exhaling back to the center. Release your legs, coming all the way out, sitting those behind you, and then bend your knee and pull it in. Wrap your arms around for a nice hug, and keep that front knee out, leg out, straight, Knee and toes up, arm out, and keep the spine stretching apart as you move into a twist. Bring the hand to the floor close to you behind you. Stretch up through the spine. Let the hips come up slightly as you turn a little deeper into that twist. Keep hugging the knee in with that left arm and stretching the spine apart so it can twist as you exhale each time. 
breathing into it, just maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice in your twists. And a little bit. Bring your hand back to shoulder level, follow it back to the center, and release the knee and put back to the front. Take a moment feeling that twist energy, getting ready for the other side. So pull the left leg in, wrap your arms around, and keep the opposite arm around, other arm out to the front. Stretch it up, exhale, follow the hand toward the back. And again, deepen into your twist as much as you want. Make sure those spine bones are apart to move. Let your hips move as well as your ribs and shoulders into the twist. Hand close to you on the floor behind you. Stretch it up. Exhale, deepen the twist as you breathe. And again, just deepen as much or as little as your body wants to twist today. Keep pulling in on the leg with your opposite arm. Take a breath or two, just relaxing into your twist. And then bring your hand up, exhale, follow it back around, and release. Take a moment there in staff position, feeling that energy from your twist as you bring your feet to the end of the lift. Sitting bones behind you, core active, and spine straight, stretching up, we're going to just slowly, of course, roll to the mat. As we get all the way down, just take a moment and breathe. Before we get, begin our relaxation, let's do one more thing. Sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels up toward your hips, and knees toward the ceiling. So make sure your knees are hip width apart, straight up, not flopping out or caving in. And just take a moment to relax here. Breathe on. Exhale, tension, and gently press down through the whole abdominal area. And then bring your right leg up and cross it over onto the left knee area. And take your right hand on your knee and gently press it away, little figure four. So stretching that hip, doing a little bit of sciatic and work. And then stay there or pressing the back gently down. You can lift your left foot, put your hand behind your thigh or your shin and pull the leg in while your right hand pushes out with the right hand. Take a moment there, just relaxing. Tension out, letting that stretch happen. So pull it in as much or as little as you want. Push it away as much or as little as you need. Take a few breaths. You can keep the foot on the floor if you prefer. If you don't want to use your hands, you actually don't have to use them. You can just do it with your muscles. And if you do want your hands there as a guide or a reminder, just leave them there gently. Take a moment, let your shoulders relax, breathe into it, and just let the stretch happen. And then as you exhale, bring your left foot down if it was up, release your hands, lift your legs, straighten it out, and bend the knee, bringing it back to the floor. Again, take a moment, feeling the difference on the two sides, and we'll do the other side. Sitting bones toward your heels, lifting the left leg, bringing the foot across, ankle near the right knee. Take your left hand and push it away, just gently breathing into it, just relaxing. And stay there if that's enough, or bring your right foot up and behind the thigh or the shin. Pulling it just gently in for a little extra. So again, pushing just gently away, only as much as your body wants or needs for the stretch on this hip. And again, just breathe into it. Keep relaxing as you exhale and breathe. 
Once more, just going as much or as little as your body needs on this side, always balancing, letting things even out. And then bring your right foot down, releasing your hands, straighten that left leg out before you bend the knee and put the foot back on the mat. And then just relax your back, slide the feet out, turn the toes toward each other and release. Turn your hands up. Take a moment and breathe. A little reclined integration, relaxing your shoulders down and circle your ankles. Take a moment, breathing, just relaxing. Allow your body to soften and sink. Turn your hands, palms up. Let your body just sink into that surface beneath you. Shoulders relaxed. Head rolling side to side. Exhale. Let your body grow heavier and sink deeper with the earth embrace. Letting the earth support you. And as you breathe more deeply, just let your body completely relax. Lots of spine work today, so just let those shoulders release down. I'll reach toward the ceiling. Exhale and relax completely. And just let your body go, supported by the earth. And let any thoughts of your body release from your awareness. As those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. Breathing deep, relaxing fully, letting your mind just drift. And know that it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Go ahead and let those thoughts just drift away without awareness. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. You can just release the thoughts along with your body, softening your muscles, sinking your being, letting your mind just drift, and your awareness release both your body and your mind. Just allow that awareness to turn inward. Find the peace within. And just deepen into that awareness of peace. Just becoming peace. If that relaxation is really good to do, just go ahead, keep relaxing. And if you need to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing and stretching. And when you're ready for that, Final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down as you pull your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your foot. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, head and feet to the floor. And roll to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks.
thanks for joining me.